Welcome, Virgo, to your September's love reading. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot, and feel free to subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what is coming in for you guys. We're going to start off with the AF Tarot deck, and then the soul cards, and then um, we'll use the situations and the love oracles to see what this person has to say. We have the Six of Swords coming in, which is, which is a resolution and moving on. Okay, so this is more of the energy, energies that we're getting. Hold on. Jeez. All right. Oh. Oh. What is happening here? This is really uh, inspiring. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we have the Six of Wands in the reverse, which is all about advancement and recognition. You are taking your attention away from someone because we do have, let's see, yeah, the world in reverse. Something's closing out, not fulfilling. You're learning a lot from this energy or from this situation. Could have been a tower moment for a lot of you guys to where you had no choice but to now start closing out a chapter and not show this person attention. Um... With the Six of Swords energy, it's stating that you're mentally moving on from a tower moment, right? Something that was very unexpected. It kind of flipped your world a little bit upside down. A lot of challenges, a lot of trying to work your way up or work through things. And now you're moving towards the chariot energy in a new direction. Clearly moving to the chariot, which is you having the willpower and the strength and the mental focus to go to go in a new direction to be more successful, to go something that's more successful. Like there is a, a, a feeling of the past energy is making peace with the past, okay? So someone here is going in the past because whatever they did, it was enough for you to move the F on, right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. The cherry is huge. This is literally like, I'm not going back, okay? Yeah, the star, lost, losing faith. Something that was with was your wish fulfillment is now something that you're losing faith in or lost faith in. This person wants feels like they're wanting to work something out or put in the effort, but it's a little bit too late for that with the world. This person may not be a trustworthy energy anymore because the world again in the challenge, which will be in the reverse. So the challenge is to close out the cycle for someone but there's still a time for healing, okay? And so as your healing cycles are closing out, making moves, um, figuring out plans, uh, this is you planning things, right, for your future. Yeah, things were going in the wrong direction. Things were stuck with the chariot and the mutual energy. Somebody could have been resisting the universe here, resisting this connection. Um, they're, oh, okay, they're thinking about themselves with the three of um three of pentacles they could probably think that you're you're not listening you're not trying to compromise you're not being fair and um yeah i i don't see you doing that i see you losing faith because of a tower that was created and which kind of like made your life feel upside down and you have no choice but to move forward right now because if you go back it's going to feel stuck it's going to feel like the same thing again and whatever this person showed you lost your trust maybe they're not reliable right showing that they're not reliable look at we even have justice on the bottom of the deck which is a lot of dishonesty feeling injustice Oof. okay not willing to listen I feel that's them. They're thinking. Yeah. Oh, now they're going to withdraw. They really want to F. They want to put in the effort, but their action is to withdraw. All right. What you don't see coming in your environment. You're going to see a lot of attention. Maybe this person is not uh, used to you, um, you know, just moving forward like this. Maybe they thought they always had you, right? This energy may, you know go in hermit mode for a little bit but they really don't have any answers within them because they're being dishonest and they don't have an awakening okay the seven of wands is is in the um overall energy here and it's like it's like they're wanting you to put your guard down in some way 
they don't want any boundaries or maybe they're crossing your boundaries many, many times. Very dishonest. But you're coming up very attractive. There's something here that's gonna be inspiring you. You're getting a lot of recognition, I feel, from this person and from other people. This is you feeling good about yourself, even though you may not feel good right now, but this is you really in your power, in your like, on your throne here, right? And, and the outcome is so much victory. It's like karma's at play for sure. So whatever was taken from you will be given to you, okay? Because you are being pushed to go to the chariot, to jump on this um, carpet ride <laughs> and to go with the, the flow of the universe. And I feel you're gonna go ahead and do that. You have the chariot in reverse in the mutual energy, but you have the chariot upright in your energy, you see? The mutual, nah, it's not going anywhere, it's stuck. It's feeling like it's going in the wrong direction. Nothing's moving, nothing's advancing, nothing's growing. And we feel you had to lose faith and now you're not giving this person attention and then guess what? They don't know if the cycle's closed or not. And you may not be communicating with them, which is making them upset. So maybe their next move is to maybe do a silent treatment. I don't know, that's a game. You have a reason not to talk to this person, I feel. This person clearly has no reason. <laughs> yeah, uncommittal. Look at all the investment you could have put into the situation. Crossroads, confusion, hard decision making. But now it's time to make a move. No more investment. You're listening to yourself now. You're like... I got to go mentally and emotionally. It's like you're finding peace with the past. This person doesn't, maybe you unloved this person a long time ago for a lot of you guys, you know, like they done, you were like is stuck in a situation for some and you were just like already over it. And then they thought like they can do the same thing that they did before, but that time, and maybe you took them back before. Okay. But now this time they had no idea that you possibly lost feelings a long time ago but maybe you were just, you know, not in the right mind space or there could have been other struggles involved. But this literally forced you to, something forced you to just completely move on and accept the situation. It's still not, it still feels like the world is not completely closed, but it's closing. You're going to have a lot of success here, a lot of recognition. That's all I got to say. All right, let's get into the situations. I could, I really like your energy. This is completely backfiring, whatever they did. They're not trying to make rights wrong or wrongs right, right? They're just being dishonest. They're, they don't want to take any accountability. And here with the judgment card, nope, they don't want to, they don't want to see what they did wrong in the situation. It's all going to be you. But they still want to put the put in the effort. But if you don't do what they say or if you don't compromise in some way, or you don't you know, just take all the blame, then they're going to go in hermit mode. That's not going to stop you. You're like, oh, been there, done that with you. Okay. I don't, I already know your little game. And now you're getting recognition from other energies possibly. I mean, queen of, queen of wands is pretty like confident. Okay. Yeah. Virgo energy here for sure. Or this could be you. That's a Virgo card. You could be dealing with another Virgo kind of just, you know, going, just kind of doing your own thing now. All right, let's see. We have come together. Yeah, they do want to come together. They could be writing you. This could be email, texting, DMing you, and they're wanting to recon reconcile, but they want you to say it. You know, but what is that going to do? Is it still going to be stuck? Is things going to change? Was this tower moment enough for you to move on? Because that's what it seems like it is. Okay, like maybe you come together after they write you something and then you guys get together and then they show you something all over again. That could be the situation. Oh, look at this. You have Archangel Michael protecting you here. I say, I always say Arch, sorry guys. Archangel Michael. He's here to protect you and prevent you from harm. Any more harm. Divine intervention. So you are being pushed. You are kind of, it could be feeling like naturally uh, feeling a need to move on, 
okay? Like it may hurt and feel confusing, but a lot of you guys could be like, no, it's time. Um, somebody here could be creating fake accounts or profiles to see your Instagram or your Facebook, Twitter, whatever that may be. Um, somebody could come in, um, if they don't get what they want from you, they could come in as uh, wanting to be rescued or try to get others involved because of this stagnant energy. You're really not giving them that much attention here. Ooh, we have house moving. You guys could have moved, um, changed location. Okay. Yeah, gossip, petty, trash. You could have felt like you were discarded or thrown away from an energy. Um, but really, this energy was just showing itself to you, right? In a way. Like you, like it may feel like that, but you're, you have um, the angels here, Archangel Michael, powerful angel to protect from evil, right? So what the heck? Feeling discarded. Narcissism characteristics, yes. Discarding usually, you know, when, when you hear that word, it reminds you of narcissism. Uh, but I don't, I, I feel like this, this person um, d did something to get a reaction um, to the point where it was so extreme that now it's kind of hard to see this person the same or to ever trust them again. I don't feel like this energy is done with you. I don't. They could be sending you songs or, you know, a, a something here. They could be wanting to pop up, maybe confessing or negotiating with you. Okay. Because um, they do want to pop up. Spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit, about to reveal and confess, and begging and bargaining. Oof. See, that's going to be tough if they try to bargain with you, right? But again, you have the chariot. Something was shown to you uh, very clearly here. And it feels like this person, yeah, one-sided relationship. This person, um, it's their way or the highway, or if they don't get their way, they'll manipulate you to come back to get your their way again. or. They'll try to contact you or do something just to get a response to feel good, you know, because this person clearly did something that they felt 100% that you were going to react to. There was someone interfering in our relationship. Now, that could be gossip for a lot of you guys. That could be a family. That could be third parties. Yes, not necessarily always third parties. Um, this person does check on you from afar. And there could be friends and family disapproving of this connection. And in the in here it says our story isn't over. This person does not think the story's over. But also they're not willing to take re accountability, like genuinely take accountability and to really work on themselves and take the 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 blame, you know, without an agenda. Without their own personal gain. There there has to you know, and it doesn't happen overnight. People need time and space, right? To change, to see progress. Friends or family disapprove. I'm sure they do disapprove on your end. Yes, because if you've been here more than once. Um, and this person's family only disapprove is because there's gossiping involved. It's like if they don't get their way or they don't want to look bad, they're going to put everything on you right so i don't really think but to be honest the family the family is really you know whatever they're always going to take the side and enable the person but later on they will see how this person operates by the patterns and the mistakes they keep making um you're you're going after victor i mean you have victory here and here and you're being guided by the universe. I think it's just time to trust and believe and really seeing the situation for what it is, which I feel that you are. Okay. I feel like you are. Let's see how you're holding up here. And then it says, I was pretending to be something, someone else. 
I don't know how people could pretend like that. You have a lot of support here. Maybe like friends, family, or angels. We do have forgive and self-care. Definitely some self-care. Candle, meditation, um, you know, just just maybe putting on a movie, lighting a candle, having some ice cream, right? <laughs> Anything that's going to make you feel comfort at this time of just, you know, just being at your own peace. I mean, that's, I don't know, I think of comfort like, you know, a cozy blanket on the couch, like watching your favorite movie and again, like a coffee or tea or however. Um, maybe doing a face mask or, you know, just really taking care of yourself and just focusing on you, right? It's mentally taking a break. Maybe going to the gym. There's a lot of things that you could be doing with this, but I just feel like it's just a lot. To be honest, Virgo, there's a lot and there's some type of forgiveness. Like this person wants your forgiveness or the people around you are, you know, I, I don't know. This energy though, I don't feel like they're taking accountability. I feel like they'll only take accountability for their benefit and then once they have you, then they will get even worse or do it all over again. And I feel like that's what you're seeing as you're here with the Six of Swords moving on in a new direction and making peace with the past and healing from this past energy and not showing them any attention, which is going to make them want to come back even more because it's going to feel like you never cared. But that's what they made you feel like you didn't, that you never, that they never cared to do this. Right? Now that's what they're going to feel like, but you're just, I mean, you're just taking care of yourself. You're not going to be, you don't want to be pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled. So this, this person I feel is a, a little, like a, a mess, maybe in the head, you know? All right. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab a card. Oh, look at this beautiful card. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives and let go. Let go and all will work out. And reflection gives each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, so I feel like that's what you're doing. This is more of self-reflecting, kind of looking at like this is um, you getting a better understanding of yourself too, right? And then trusting the universe that everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Virgo. I really hope this message helped. Um, and if it did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. God bless.